This next rhythm is on page 51 of your workbook. This is a sinus bradycardia. And for all intents and purposes, a sinus brady is exactly the same as a sinus rhythm with one exception, and that is that the heart rate is less than 60. So this is really the, 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 the key finding here. And if we look at this particular rhythm, we find one curious that falls in a dark line. So the heart rate here is 300, 150, 100, 75, 60, 50. So the heart rate, in fact, here is 50 beats per minute. Uh, the P waves are typically normal. PR interval is typically less than 0 0.20 second. QRS is usually narrow. Ratio in the sinus bradyarrhythmia is one to one, and the rhythm is regular. Now, how patients present clinically in a sinus bradycardia will really depend on a couple of a number of different factors. One, just how slow is the heart rate? Uh, what's the age of the patient? What's the patient's uh, underlying medical condition? Do they have a, a cardiac condition to begin with? Do they have any impairment in, in um, uh, left ventricular contractility? Uh, do they have any comorbidities, other diseases such as COPD or asthma or other things that would predispose them to uh, uh, make them vulnerable to uh, um, being unwell when they have a bradycardic rhythm. So it, it depends on any one of a number of those factors. Now, um, so patients with sinus bradys, um, you know, even with heart rates down at 30 and 35 and 40, uh, may present anywhere from perfectly stable and completely asymptomatic to hemodynamically unstable and, and uh, in a pre-arrest state. So it just depends on those factors that I just described. And um, so how they present clinically uh, will dictate how they're uh, treated from a medical perspective.